And I am here today with my daughter, Ellie. You wanna say hi? Say hi. <laughs> if you are watching this video, it means you are gonna decorate or uh, bake some cupcakes with us today. So what you have in your kit that came um, in any of your DIY kits that you ordered from us is this bag right here. Yeah. This is the most important part, right Ellie? And we can make it or we can put it in the oven. We are gonna put it in the oven eventually, we sure are. So we're gonna get started, are you ready Ellie? Yes. You gonna help me? Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna need a few things at home. So what you're gonna need is a way to mix your cake batter. You can use a KitchenAid, which me and Ellie are gonna use today. You can also use a whisk if you can whisk really fast on your own, or you can use a hand mixer where you put the, the mixer into the bowl yourself. So we're gonna do the KitchenAid method today. So, all right, Miss Ellie, the first step we're gonna do is we need to cut our bag. There's a heat seal right here so that it doesn't spill out. And we're gonna cut right underneath it so that we can open it up. Yeah. Yep, thank you, Ellie. And next time you come visit us someday is Linda here making cupcakes. <laughs> yes, that's right. All right, Ellie, are you gonna help me put the, the cake batter into yes. the bowl? So this is the first step. All right, are you ready? Pour, and you pour the whole thing in. All of it goes in. Good job, Ellie. Good job. So you're gonna wanna hold on to your, bowl, or to your bag right here, because this is a super important thing. You probably noticed that there's some lines on here. They're gonna come in handy later. So you're gonna put your, I'm gonna put it down right here. You're gonna put your bowl onto your KitchenAid, and then I have the paddle attachment. There are several attachments with the KitchenAid. There's the paddle and the whisk. You wanna use the paddle for making cupcakes, right, Ellie? Yep. Yep, and what do we use the whisk for? Icing. For making icing. So what we're doing is the paddle. Yep. You can take this back, yep. and the first step, if you see this line right here, it says water one. You would fill your water up to this line. It is eight ounces of water. But if you have a measuring cup at home, you can also measure out eight ounces Me and of Ellie water. Ellie went ahead and so, did that already. So we've got our eight ounces sitting right here. So we're gonna go ahead and put our KitchenAid down. We're gonna lock it so it stays in place so that way it doesn't go all over. And we're gonna put it on number one. All right, Miss Ellie, we're gonna add this water slowly into our bowl. Do you wanna help me, Ellie? And you're gonna add it slowly into the bowl. And you're gonna put all of it in. Yep, you're doing good, Ellie. All right. Once all of it is in the bowl, you're just gonna let it mix. We're just gonna give it a few seconds. What should we talk about while we wait for it to mix? Um, banana milkshakes. Banana milkshakes. Ellie wants to talk about banana milkshakes. All right, Miss Ellie. Now that it's all mixed up, we're gonna stop our mixer. Pop it open right here. It's not all mixed together, don't worry. Mom. We're gonna take a rubber spatula. If you I don't have a rubber, yes, you're gonna help me. If you don't have a rubber spatula at home, you can use a wooden spoon, you can use a metal spoon, you can use anything you want. The purpose of this step is we wanna get all those crumbs off the side of your bowl. So we're gonna take them all off Mom. and put them into the bowl a little bit better. Ellie, do you wanna come help me mix? Mm -hmm. So come on over here. Woo, woo. All right, stand on up. And you need to get in there. And I'm gonna help Miss Ellie once she's done. Good job, Ellie. Yep, we want all of it and you need to scrape the sides. Good job, Ellie. All right, Mommy's gonna help you a little bit. So we need to get all these little sides in Mommy, here straight. Yes, honey? After we mix in my like spoon. Uh, maybe the very, very end. All right, it's pretty mixed in there. Okay, so we're gonna put our spatula down and then we're gonna put our KitchenAid back down. We're gonna lock it. Oh, I want to lock oh, it. Oh, you can lock it. Thank you, Ellie. So this next step is real. Hold on, wait one second. We had it on number one the first time. This time we're gonna put it on number three. So we're gonna go together. One, two, three. There we go. We're gonna let it go for just a little bit. We're gonna let it get all mixed up in there. I'm gonna put you back in your chair. Mom, yes. I want to mix the food. When we're all done. So the thing about our cake mix is we're just adding oil and water today. It's kind of nice. There are no raw eggs that are going into this cake mix. But there is uh, dairy in the cake mix itself. So dairy-free friends, I'm so sorry. All right. 
What do you think, Ellie? Good. It's going good? There's not really a good time on this. You just kind of got to look at it and make sure all those crumbs got mixed in. It's looking pretty good in there. It's looking and like cake mix. If you don't visit, it's okay. Oh, if you don't visit, it's okay. But if you would like to visit us at My Make Studio, we would really appreciate that. And you have to pick what flavor you want. Well, today we're going to do vanilla. Yeah. All right, I'm going to stop our KitchenAid, Ellie. Stop. Stop. No. And we're going to pull it up. Okay, wait. This is an important step. We are going to take our rubber spatula again, and we're going to mix it one more time. Yep, good job, Ellie, and I'm going to help Ellie out. By the way, friends, um, before we started baking today, me and Ellie washed our hands for at least 30 seconds with soap and water, so you guys need to do that too. You want to make sure all of your space is clean and everything is all clean for you to bake your cupcakes. Me and Ellie are going to be the ones eating these cupcakes, so it's okay that she's kind of getting... Her fingers a little messy. All right, Miss Ellie. I'm gonna take this and scrape the sides because we want all those sides to get in there. It's really all about the sides, you guys. Okay, hold on. Nope, 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 nope. We're not done yet, Miss Ellie. All right. So we're gonna put our nope. We're gonna put our spatula down. Nope, 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 Ellie. So then we're gonna put the KitchenAid back. Yep. Go ahead and lock it, Ellie. So then the next step is oil and water. If you look at your bag again, we have it measured out on here. How much oil and water you need for number two? It says water number two and no. oil. So you're going to fill your bag with water to this line. It is three ounces. So if you have a measuring cup, you can measure three ounces. And then you're going to pour it in. And then you're going to measure it again to the and same line. you put some more stuff or oil. And then we put it in the fire. I think you're getting ahead of us. We're not quite there yet. So then you can fill this with oil to this line. It's also three ounces. And then you're going to pour that in. Me and Ellie have our water and our oil mixed already. So we have three ounces of water and three ounces of oil. Hold on, Ellie. It's pretty cool to see how oil and water separate too. Do you see here? That's pretty cool, huh, Ellie? So we're going to turn our KitchenAid back to number one. And Ellie's going to add our oil and water slowly into the bowl. Are you ready, Ellie? No, I'm going to do it all okay. okay, we're going to see how this goes, everybody. Go ahead, Ellie. Go slowly into the bowl. Oh, good job. You're doing great, Ellie. All the way. You got to put all of it in there. Good job. Yep, and we're done with that one. So we're going to let it mix and get all in there for just a few minutes. And then we're going to scrape the sides one more time. Because sometimes the oil gets stuck on the side of the bowl. And we don't want that. I can this Yes, at the very end. It will be the very end. At the very end, you can. You want to make sure a lot of this oil gets mixed into your cake batter pretty well. Like I said, a lot of the oil gets stuck on the sides, you'll probably see, and that's why we're going to scrape one more time. All right, Ellie, are we ready to scrape? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to, hold on, we're going to turn it off. Yep, and you unlocked it. And we're going to lift it up, and this is our last time scraping. So go ahead, Ellie, and give it a good scrape. Oh, I also forgot to tell you guys, my oven is preheated to 325 degrees. So I'm just going to give this bowl a scrape on the sides. Mom, yes, Ellie. It keeps some icing on it for me to lick. Okay. Ellie is very focused on getting to lick some of this spatula. All right, Miss Ellie, that, that was the last one. So you may lick your spatula and then put it in here. So everybody that's at home... Obviously, we are the ones eating this, so you will not get our lake spatula, don't worry. <laughs> so I'm going to lock our KitchenAid. We're going to put it on number one just for a little bit longer, just so that last oil that was up on the sides can get mixed in. You all done, Ellie? No. Nope. No? Nope. Didn't think so. She is a girl after my own heart. Hey, Ellie, have you seen all of the My Make Studio kits that we've made? Uh -uh. No? So we have made so far an animal cupcake kit a flower cupcake kit, a classic cupcake kit that has like an ice cream cone in it and a hamburger. Um, and we have also made a geode cake. What do you think sounds fun? A geode cake. A geode cake. What about, oh, and we made spring cupcakes that have like a sheep and a bunny. What do you think? The sheep and the bunny. The sheep and the bunny. Maybe we should check out the spring kit next. That'd be a good activity for us, huh? Yeah, and you got a lot on your face. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hit stop here. 
And we're gonna unlock this and open our KitchenAid up. Here, Ellie, we'll come back to your spoon in just a little bit. All but right. I want you to scrape it off. Oh no, we're all done. Oh yeah, you're gonna, that's fine, you can do that. She's just scraping the little extra that got stuck on our paddle back into the bowl. You guys can totally do that. The paddle shouldn't have captured too much. Good job, Ellie. Okay, all right, my friend. We're gonna put this back in here. I'm gonna put you back in your chair. You need to go back to your chair. I know you're getting every little bit that you can. Daddy, you can give me the food back? In just a little bit, hold on. So I'm gonna go ahead and take our bowl. And I'm gonna go like this. The reason I did that is so that some of the drippings went into here. Ellie and I have a cupcake pan with cupcake liners. You guys have cupcake liners in your kit as well. It came with your bag. So you guys have a couple options for getting the cupcake batter out of the bowl into here. Um, one option that's kind of cool is you can take your bag again and you can put all of the batter, you can pour it all into your bag and then cut the bottom off and then you can squeeze it into the different cups. That's totally an option if you don't have a spoon. Ellie and I are gonna use a one fourth cup measure. You can use this. I also love to use um, ice cream scoops. That's our other favorite thing to use. You can also use just a regular oh, spoon if you want. Clean. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. So Ellie, I'm gonna do a couple and then you can do a couple. So I like to get a scoop and you wanna make sure it doesn't drip all over the counter because I'm sure Miss Ellie's are. You can do mine, all right, Mom? Okay. So you start putting it into the cupcake liners and you want them to be about three quarters of the way full. So not all the way, but a little bit more than half. What do you think about that right there, Ellie? Good. Does that look good? No, my turn. Your turn? Okay, hold on, let mommy get it ready for you. All right, now you can do one. Pick any one that you want. So if you are doing one of our kits today, you need six cupcakes for your kit. So you want six cupcakes that look really good for the kit. Um, if you're just doing our DIY kit, you want at least 12 to decorate with because there's a lot of icings in there. But as long as you have six for any of our class kits, you should be good to go. All right, Miss Ellie, here, Mommy's gonna help you. Yeah. All right. So when you get to the end of the bowl, you can take your rubber spatula if you had one. Hold on. Now. And you can scrape the sides inside here. And a lot of cake batter comes down. Like a whole bunch. Okay, Ellie, hold on. We're gonna go like this and we're gonna pour it into a cupcake liner. See, we had like a whole cupcake stuck on the sides. You wanna get every last bit out of there. Hold on, Ellie. I know that you want to lick the spoon again. Do you guys like licking the spoon at home? Yes. Yeah, well, we all know you do. <laughs> you not licking the spoons? Yes. All right, here you go, Ellie. All right, and if you are a kiddo at home baking, um, you're going to want your parents' help with this next part, but we're going to go ahead and put our cupcakes in the oven. Um, we're going to see how long they take, and then I'll let you know when we're done. <laughs> I don't really know how long they take, Jay, so. And then also take one the, the we put ice in on it. We're gonna take a peek in the oven and see how they're looking. So, if you are a kiddo, you need some help from mom or dad or an adult. I'm a kitty. So, I'm going to pull them out just a little bit and I'm going to give them like a little poke. They feel pretty perfect. You can tell when you touch the pan, they're not all jiggly in the center. You want the centers to be nice and firm. And these ones are. So, I'm going to pull them out and we're going to close our oven. And I'm going to put them right here on our counter so that they can cool off. They're super hot. Ellie, so